Thank you. Thank you, Gina, for opening your beautiful home. And thank you, Marty, for putting all this together. <coughs> Some years ago, I was teaching animal rights at a local school, and the students decided they wanted to focus on elephants. And we saw a film about elephants in the wild, and then we went to the LA Zoo, and we were horrified by the conditions that the elephants <laughs> were living under. The students formed themselves into a group and called themselves the Elephants. Their goal was to help the four, then four elephants, Ruby, Tara, Gita, and Billy. They spoke before the zoo commission. They held press conferences. They said the space was too small. The bull hooks were cruel. They were ignored. Then one day we received an anonymous package addressed to the elephants and in it were internal zoo memos and vet reports documenting horrific abuse to the elephant, elephants. You can't even imagine. We took the package to the then DA, who was Gil Garcetti. He refused to do anything. Wouldn't do it. All we could do is watch. The zoo then decided to separate Ruby and Gita, who had lived together as best friends for 16 years. In spite of the fact that director Ed Marushka promised it would not be done in secret, they shoved Ruby into a truck in the middle of the night, took her to a zoo in Tennessee where she was completely isolated and put her in a tiny enclosure. We jumped into action. We found an attorney. We filed a lawsuit to bring Ruby back to be with her friend Gita. At the last minute, when it was clear that the judge would rule in our favor, Mayor Hahn ordered Ruby to be returned to LA. The zoo had no choice but to accept her back, but they refused to put her with Gita. I saw Ruby in a small cage, flinging her trunk against the steel bars in anger. As she watched her lifelong companion stand day after day in pools of blood and excruciating pain, Gita's feet were disintegrating for years of standing on hard surfaces. This never happens in the wild. Soon after Ruby was returned, Tara was found dead in her enclosure. Her feet had disintegrated from spending years on hard surfaces. A new mayor was then elected and we pleaded with him to sell Ruby to pause. He agreed. Ruby went to the sanctuary. But what about Gita? In April of 2006, John Lewis, the director of the zoo, testified before city council that Gita was completely healed, no problems. Two months later, Gita died. Her feet disintegrated from standing on hard surfaces. The zoo continues to this day to convince city council that keeping elephants in captivity is important for education and conservation. But what education? The students interviewed 60 kids in front of Billy's composure. Enclosure at the LA Zoo, the kids were all asked the same question. What did you learn from seeing Billy in the zoo today? And the answer was the same. He's gray, he's big, he has big t ears, nothing. Then they were asked, what do you know about dinosaurs? And each kid became very animated and gave lengthy descriptions about their favorite dinosaur. And then we asked them, where did you learn that? And they said, from books. We also found that kids spend less than 10 minute, two minutes looking at the elephants and six minutes at the concession stands. And what about conservation? Captivity can never be conservation. Protecting habitats is conservation. Hiring locals and arming them to start poaching, creating jobs, as well as saving lives is conservation. 13 elephants have died at the LA Zoo and many more have been transferred and lost. Billy is still at the LA Zoo, standing in one place all day, swaying back and forth, as Paul said, it's called stereotypic behavior. It's from unrelenting stress over which he has no control. His feet are cracked. He's in tremendous pain. He's displaying all the symptoms that killed Gita and Tara. And just like with Tara and Gita, the zoo is, the zoo is lying and denying that there's anything wrong with Billy. They're fighting to keep Billy. We have to fight harder. We have to get Billy to the sanctuary before he dies like Tara and Gita. We must not let the zoo kill Billy.